This talk is about gathering strength. How does one gather strength? Well, we are made up of the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. Generally, it takes time to develop physically, mature mentally, and spiritually to gain knowledge and awareness in order to expand our consciousness. People do this in different ways, and sometimes over lifetimes. Just like we gather our knowledge and experiences from this lifetime to cope, <coughs> and we also do this over lifetimes. How we cope depends on what is involved. For example, an athlete will train. Take for example a marathon runner. She, he, will run a lot. A singer may strengthen the vocal cords by singing the musical scale. The mu musician will practice playing an instrument. A person who wants to be in business will read books about business, take classes in business, and or have a mentor in business. A person learning a language will do it one word at a time. <clears throat> wow. When you look at it one word at a time, that seems forever. But people do it, and time is going to pass anyway. So why not just start and do it? And everyone will gain strength in their own life experience. Essentially, we make a decision and set in motion a choice of direction to strengthen our skill, knowledge, and awareness. For as long as this direction is the path, always moving forward will improve development and progress and strength in one's position on the path. Now this may be a goal of a year or years or it may be a daily occurrence. And sometimes it takes a village to create and nurture one on their path. An example is a baby learns to crawl, then stumble some, and eventually is able to walk. The baby never gives up and keeps trying and of course receives help from the family. This determination and drive to keep trying and moving forward will bring progress and development in the chosen path. <clears throat> Regarding the phrase, sometimes it takes a village to raise a child, in the past, for example, I am sure you experienced this in one of your past lifetimes. We pass on our heritage our sense of who and what we are and where we come from, from the elders in stories, myths, and legends, what is expected, what is our position or place in the family, and in what and, and in the village, and so forth. Sometimes this progress is over lifetimes. Regarding determination and drive, to keep trying, we all do this to varying degrees and at various times in our life. And at times our efforts are more noticeable. Usually we witness this determination and drive in short bursts, in performances by athletes at sporting events, artists at a concert, scholars from papers or books, and the results in innovations and breakthroughs in science and technology. When I was writing this speech, I thought I needed to make it more interesting. I needed to grab your attention, add the human element to make it personal. Then I thought, well, to make it more personal, I could talk about each of you. Then I thought, well, I could make this into a sitcom put it on TV, and make the chapel some money. 
Nah, no worries. Some modern day sitcom examples of striving to succeed for the public to view are in such TV programming as Alone. This is a program about an individual surviving in the wilderness. Another is Survivor. This is a TV program about a gathering of people in the wilderness or on an island and they must fend for themselves and socially must survive the politics of the group. Then there is the TV program Naked Survivor or something to that effect where a couple meet for the first time in a remote location naked and without tools and as a couple they must find food and shelter for some duration of time. A TV program called Mountain Men is a show I watch. We have even taken this survivor aspect to an extreme because we have designed and sent people into space long before this TV survivor programming became popular. Back here on Earth, every four years it seems to be more popular recently, with more people than usual competing to see who will be the lone survivor of an ordeal of unveiled exposure for one position in a big house painted white in Washington, D.C. I cannot even imagine all of what it takes to put oneself through the ordeal of the path these people have chosen. And that is okay, because it is their life, not mine. And sometimes it is entertaining. There are shows of how people live off the grid to survive. So basically, the point here is, in whatever situation one is in, what it is that has to be done to survive. But what is it that has to be done to survive? Gathering strength is about prioritizing and it is about choices. And choices create change. And change gives birth to new energy in a new direction. This gives energy to karma in the path taken. Karma is the resulting energy in whatever form in whatever situation that develops when one makes a choice. Our choice of how we deal with the consequences of the circumstances of a situation creates our path of karma. Once upon a time, when I was about seven years old, I went exploring the cemetery I passed to and from school every week. I was with a friend and we came upon a cave-like cemented drainage opening with a rectangular opening of about three feet high and five feet wide. I wanted to explore it, but my friend did not, so we did not. But I came back a week or two later and entered the cement cave. I wanted to see where it led. I got down on my hands and knees and crawled for about one-eighth mile. The tunnel curved and quickly there was no light. I could not even see my hand right in front of my face. I kept going. Eventually I began to see a faint light. As I approached it was coming from above. When I got to the light I reached up and pushed up this heavy iron grill and crawled out onto the ditch beside the street I walked to and from school. I was grateful I was able to move the iron grill and climb out because if not, that meant I would have to crawl all the way back to the opening where I entered and I did not want to do that. Now this choice I made to enter the cave set me on a path of karma that I had to deal with however best I could. It was over shortly and fortunately I came away unscathed. And, and every foot I crawled unable to see, I had to gather the strength to keep going forward to reach the end. We are constantly gathering strength to confront or deal 
with whatever is in our path by making choices. If we are not successful in dealing with what we are confronted with, it remains or may multiply uh, or may get stronger until it is resolved in this lifetime or another. We have all types of relationships with people, business, or personal. And as the saying goes, time heals all. This may be resolved, it may go away. How that may happen has a lot to do with our choices we make. At the chapel here, we are taught that we are in control. I know it sometimes does not feel that way, but still it is true. We make the choices of what action or direction of what we are going to do. This is our way of gathering strength to deal with whatever it is that may confront us. So what is your personal sitcom going to be? Because you are the director, you are the person in charge, you are the executive producer, and you are the star. So illuminate your star and make it shine bright in the universe you create within you and about you. This is your life. You are the one in charge of it. So take a moment and submit an application to cast yourself for whatever role you are going to play in whatever scenario you are going to put yourself through and good luck on your journey. The rest of us will surely be entertained. I say entertained because a friend who was very talented intuitively in various psychic modalities told me that on the other side we have the opportunity to tell our story and I imagined this to be on a stage with millions tuning in. The thing um, is here on earth we watch a movie to experience a story or observe another life experience but in this experience as much as we may be engrossed in the story we are still just observing it. Now, if we read a book and get lost in the story, we are using our imagination and are closer to the experience of living the life experience. Now, on the other side, when we tell our story, it is our complete story. The emotions and experiences of our life are being lived by all through us. Here on earth we say we are connected, and we are. On the other side, when agreed, that connection is felt completely. Now, to not make the idea of making choices so abstract, let's make it simple. Do scenarios in your head, and then write them down to see what would happen. What you would have to deal with, and how that is going to make you and others feel. You are the director, executive producer, and actor of your own sitcom. See how creative you can be. Run the worst scenario, the best scenario, and one or two scenarios in between the worst and best scenarios. See how creative you can be. It may make you feel like going out and tying one on. No, do not do that. And if you have any difficulties with your scenarios, Reverend David has this phone number you can call to access help. Like the river in Egypt, it is 1-800-DENIALS. Now, see, I included you in this talk and talked about uh, you, and that wasn't so bad. Now, I gathered strength in writing this speech by making a decision of what to write about. I made a choice of what direction to take, and what I was going to talk about and how I was going to approach it and it turned out to be easy because all I had to do was talk about you. See, it does take a village to write a speech. Thank you for making this easy. Everything about this planet is about gathering strength. This is the manner in which it formed. Asteroids colliding into each other drawn together from the energy of their gravity, building at first with irregular form. But when rea uh, reaching a certain mass, 
with sufficient gravity, becoming the shape and f it becomes the shape and form of a sphere. This is the current known knowledge throughout the observable universe. We also gather strength and get bigger. First we are born, then we go through a maturational period of becoming an infant, then a toddler, then a child, then a teenager, then a young adult, then, <coughs> then a middle-aged adult, and an el then an elderly adult. First we go through growth spurts, then we go through age spurts, spiritually, mentally, and physically, all the while gathering strength and growing through experience, learning, understanding, and expanding our awareness. <clears throat> God is God. What does that mean? One perspective is the phrase, God is many things, God is all things. What does this mean? Well, take for example the saying, water seeks its own level. Wow, what does that have to do with anything? Well, we are all individuals, and by we, I mean all the people on earth currently embodied. Each of us have our own perspectives on life and a higher power, or in some cases, not a higher power. So for all of us that believe in God or our individual view of God, it may just be that. That is what God is to us. God has allowed us the privilege, the right, that free will to create our own perspective of God. So what does all this have to do with gathering strength? God allows us to take baby steps, to be at whatever level we feel comfortable, and like a baby who first learns to crawl, then stumble, however many times necessary, before developing the skill to walk with confidence, so is God willing to be whatever it is that we want, need, desire of God to be in order to begin gathering strength in our growth and development. Thank you, God, for giving me the freedom to be myself, the free will to make choices, and go wherever those choices take me in my journey and especially the opportunity to go in whatever manner my path leads me to gather strength. Amen. You know that saying, if, you, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, or, sometimes, or something to that effect. So if you are abducted by a UFO, or you get to meet E.T., or you are out in the woods and meeting Smokey the Bear, just realize this is your opportunity to gather strength. Basically, you gather strength by doing. Uh, this could be in action or it can be action. Whichever way, um, you will proceed in developing and strengthening uh, yourself on your path. Now, a, a wise man recently told me uh, or brought up the word action. And um, by wise men, I mean Reverend David. So I thought, well, I should have a bucket list here at the chapel, and it should be entitled Kissing Up to the Wise Man. Thank you for this wisdom, Reverend David. And thank all of you for patiently listening to my talk. talk. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Oh, you're